I'm here with the insanely gorgeous Juju. Great to see you. Thank you. Now, do you have, in China, do you have something called a girl crush? Do you know what that is? I know, kind of know what it means. Yeah. And I kind of know how it feels. Oh, you I'm do? I'm feeling it right now. <gasps> oh no, stop! I was going to say the same thing about you. Are you just saying that because you knew I was going to say it? No. Good answer. Good answer. I like you already. You're very kind in, in China. Um, what your name? Is there an English translation um, that you know of? Yeah. Well, the it's it's pronounced the same. Juju. The two. My family name is Ju, and my first name is also Ju. Um, but the characters are different. The first okay. one means red, and the second one means pearl. So it means red pearl. Wow. Why do we have things like that in America? It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's, but it's a bit, you know, strange because it's like people whose name is like Tom Tom or right. Mary Mary. Right. But I think it's so cute and it's perfect <laughs> for Hollywood. Yeah. Well, a lot of people think that it's artist name, but it's not. Yeah. I was, um, my parents gave me that name when I was born. Um, so did I hear that you actually used to do what I do? You used to be an MTV VJ yeah. in China. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you did that? I were you in your teens. It. Yeah, kind of, no, actually I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was uh, towards the end of my college years. Yeah, yeah. and how did that happen? Um, I, it's a long story, I studied electrical engineering. I knew that I wasn't going to be an engineer and I was looking for things that I would love to do. And then um, I love singing, I love performing since I, um, ever since I was little. So I joined the contest of MTV Talent Search and I did, I joined the singing competition actually and I won, to, I took the first place in Beijing and the third place national final. And that's how MTV knew about me. And then later they need somebody who can speak Chinese and English uh, for this TV show called MTV English. Um, and they, they called me saying if I want to do it um, as a part-time job, and I, I did it. And then, Are you into like top 40 kind of thing? Because I'm, I'm assuming that's what you did. It's yeah, a lot that's of what that. I did. Um, Are you into like One Direction or anything like that? Any boy crushes aside from the girl crushes? One Direction might be a little too young for me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean I'm too old to like Harry Styles? Because I still no, think but, it's... You know, I don't know why that I, I'm more into like vintage guys <laughs> like oh like who like no but i like older older guys yeah well i remember that i interviewed james blunt once and i've i was really nervous i don't know why because usually i don't get nervous i i didn't i wouldn't admit that i i you know i had a crush on him yeah but, but i was really really nervous like my my palm was sweating and i feel like my my face was red and i, I don't know what to do i don't know what to say I i've got a few of those in here yeah. trust me colin farrell came in it was kind of the same thing mm -hmm. yeah so let's talk about marco polo mm -hmm. i am already obsessed with it and it hasn't even come out yet first of all you and lorenzo i know you have a love story mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. The two of you together, I cannot wait to watch. You do, you do ha kind of have like steamy love scenes in the show, and that like I guess when you were to break the ice, he took you and you did tequila shots, or there was some like. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, that happened on the day we met. Um, you just was... break the ice with tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just saw this each other. Great. I was like, let's do some tequila shots. <laughs> oh, so it was your idea? <laughs> no, it was. Wow. And so yeah. this was like right before you started shooting together. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but but I, I guess he was just being himself and being Italian. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so his last name is pronounced. It's because you can do it with a good Italian accent. I know. Um, I would. I can try. Yeah. <laughs> last name is uh, Riccardi. There you go. Much better than I could say it. It's an original show for Netflix. It's the Weinstein Company, and it looks so epic. I mean, the scale, and I know you shot in Italy, I know mm -hmm. you shot in Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. Malaysia. Just give me a sense of just being on that size of, of a production and just, you know, the experience of it all. The whole thing is epic, and it's, it's, it's huge. We have a thousand people on set. And then also we shot in Kazakhstan and, um, um, the landscape was amazing. So we shot it in a place where there's deserts and steppe and snow mountain and, and, and a canyon and everything all together um, in, a, in the same land. And then there's no, not many trees, maybe not at all. And 
But there's only one tree, which is the tree that we we have a lot of scenes at. I was just really every day I'm sitting there admiring that tree. I was like, wow, what a great you know life. And one day,、um, one of our like prop people saying, Juju, stop staring at tr- at that tree. It's a fake tree. I'm like, no, don't tell me that. And then he's like, yeah, we. We carried it here and we glued it in, into the ground with concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "No, don't tell me that." And then, and then、uh, my dialogue coach Joe was next to me, saying, "That's a lie because I saw that tree. The tree is blooming." And then, and then the, the other, and then they started to argue with each other. And the three of us went to the tree, and it was really blooming. And it was also really was a dead tree that it, that was. Um, glued into the ground, but it was also blooming. Yeah, so we call it a blooming dying tree. I wrote a song. I'll just sing part of it.、Mm. Tonight, while the stars so shine, you glow so bright in my childish mind. Not only did we have a musical instrument because a doorbell went off, <laughs> bells just ring when you sing. But my girl crush just went from here to like way, way up here. That's incredible. Thank you. Well, the, it sounds so much better with the instrument. No, it sounded fantastic.、Thank、trust、you. me. Just before we go, can you teach me any Chinese? Sure.、Um, can you teach me how to say I love you? 我爱你我爱你我爱你我爱你 Yeah, perfect. You、okay. have really good pronunciation. No, I can say that to people and they won't know what I'm saying. You can say it at an inappropriate time. <laughs> no idea what、you、I'm saying. You can say it if Lorenzo come here. <laughs> can you make that happen? Because he is mighty yeah. cute. Yeah, he you is. You have a good job.、Mm-hmm. Have, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to work with somebody that is, first of all, really gorgeous, and second, well, first, I think he's a great actor. And he's very professional and he's very talented. He was really, like, he was natural born, a, a great actor.、Mm-hmm. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. You are just so delightful. It's so refreshing to see a classy, lovely actress in Hollywood. So,、oh, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Congrats on the show. I can't wait to watch it. A Netflix subscription is going to happen very quickly, <laughs> just so I can watch this. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you.